as we're coming up to our possibly our 10,000th subscriber on YouTube we thought we'd kind of make this one a bit of a special look over some of the uh, highlights and low points of the last three years of blogging and um, see where we're going to go from here you and me we're family the bond that we share is as deep as the sea no matter how rough things may come to be you and me we're family sing home hey long for the ride home hey I'll some sing people have swim pools in their houses we have a house in a swimming pool um so it just so happens we're in formentura which is one of the most beautiful beaches in the whole of the mediterranean We've got the kids out on the sailing dinghy somewhere on the beach and this is what we'd aim for. For the 10 years we were working up to this um, sailing adventure, this was what we envisioned. Um, I think one thing that uh, we wanted this video to be about was, was the YouTube side and the blogging side of it rather than looking at the highlights of the travel. We've already done that in some videos previously. We're still using just iPhones and a GoPro and one microphone. We still edit on iMovie which is the free software you get with, a, with an Apple Mac. We've kept it simple because that's all we've had really and it's been kind of fine. I mean, I know it's not the superb quality but that's what we've had and we've made the best of it really. I mean, I've seen quite a few different bits of equipment that people have and now I'm beginning to think, oh, quite like a nice camera and, you know, thought it would be nice to um, try a uh, drone out as well. But um, otherwise, yes, yeah, pretty much we've just done it with what we've got really. The great thing of just using our phones and our iPhones uh, to film is you always got your phone on you at any time so you can kind of whip it out and quickly take some footage without having to pre-plan because um, I think pre-planning can can really kill uh, travel blogs because things can happen at the most unexpected time and it's probably about as close to a conflict zone as we ever want to get. The guy with the gun has just taken our passports as well as everyone's ID cards. It might not be the best light, it won't be the best sound quality, but uh, we have have actually captured some uh, quite intense moments, haven't we? Like uh, people smugglers and uh, people falling overboard. And then the Coast Guard dived in front of him and tried to knock him off his jet ski. We didn't actually start out to be um, YouTubers or bloggers. Um, the, the way it started is um, when we were looking for a boat initially, I was filming the boats and then sending them back to Arenka when she was back in the UK. So I'd make these kind of mini videos. Surveyor's having a good look around. Uh, found a few minor issues, nothing major yet. Um, but we've got an hour and then the boat goes back in the water. And then we thought, well, we, we'll start doing little videos for our family and friends to keep them updated about where we were and what we were doing. Um, okay. okay. The first video that we did, it was, uh, it was quite funny because you didn't even know what a vlog was at the time, did you? No, I, I couldn't understand why Woody kept asking me to say stuff to the camera. We've got some adventures planned and we want to keep a record of what we're going to do and that's why we're vlogging it rather than blogging it because vlogging is supposed to be the in thing. <laughs> what? And, um, and I kind of found it quite annoying really because I was really busy and I had loads to do and, and um, I was trying to you know, do this vlog, vlog. And also, I didn't really like being on camera either, really. And um, I'm used to it now, but I really hated it at the beginning. So I think when Woody kept asking me questions and I had to answer them, it kind of just made me laugh. And um, yeah, I couldn't really take it very seriously. What, am I just standing here or do you want me to do something in particular? And um, oh, that camera. <laughs> I'm talking to this camera. I like this thing because this is just like a real film. <laughs> we went to see a puppet show and the tunes in this puppet show were written by a guy called Tom Gray and I knew Tom Gray by reputation from the 90s when I was a student and he was one of the main players in a band called Gomez which was a very famous band very briefly um, in the UK at the time excellent band uh, worth checking out but he wrote the music for this puppet show called Arthur's Dreamboat yeah so it's the long nose puppet theatre group and the one song was about a family who drifted out to sea on a, on a dream boat and uh, it seemed quite appropriate and so I wrote to Tom Gray and he got back to me straight away and he said yeah no problem yeah use it um, and it was great and so that's how that's been our theme tune so for, so those of you who kind of are interested in the theme tune you can buy it uh, on iTunes or Amazon and I'll, I'll try and put a link below um, but thanks to Tom Gray for that it was uh, it was uh, quite a boon for us wasn't it yeah. one of our subscribers on YouTube got in touch and uh, said why don't you try this patron thing and uh, we'd heard of patreon because we were followers of, of Delos and the Vagabond and some of the big YouTube channels 
and we thought it was quite funny that we were just kind of a small insignificant channel but actually it, it, it took off and people were kind of interested and and kind of started contributing um, which meant we could um, start doing a, a lot more things and traveling a little bit further um, I think a lot of people don't realize the work that goes into it you know they, they just see the videos up there and think well ad hoc videos but we spend a long time you know most weekday nights really editing and downloading the footage initially I, I was doing all the editing and then Arenka wanted to get more involved and so we tried to do the editing together and that was a that was a disaster really wasn't it we, we just couldn't agree on anything but I like doing the editing I can stick it all the raw footage together and you can do the nice final cut at the end why why not so uh, we kind of resolved that issue by trying to do alternate edits and it's kind of falling into two niches now isn't it it's kind of we've got the travel side of it and we've got the maintenance side of it so I mainly do the maintenance and Arenka does mainly the traveling not always but that that's how it's kind of um, equaling out at the moment but we, you know, we get quite precious over it yeah I think we? everyone gets precious about their own style of how they want to do it and um and then it it's really you're kind of not only trying to think about the viewer but you're trying to think about your your you know partner as well initially we got some t-shirts that was our first thing the t-shirts from uh, weird fish mm. um, we thought we hit the big time when we got a couple of t-shirts turned up in the post we've had the wetsuits from sea venger um, we got a, a good discount from Yacht Centre Palmer for the, for the dinghy. With the, with the discount that they gave us, we could actually afford uh, the model we wanted, which was great. Q Sales in, in Turkey gave us a, a nice discount. I must admit the quality of the sales and the service was, was excellent. I think one of the more practical ones has been um, the school books for Rowan. We, uh, we've set out on a IGCSE syllabus for Rowan and we kind of were a bit worried about how we were going to deliver a syllabus like that. So I wrote to Collins and they were really obliging. I mean, some of these books cost uh, um, £100, way outside of our budget, especially for eight or nine subjects. Um, but they sent us a, a whole box full and, uh, and now we're kind of uh, going along nicely with the schooling. We were sent a, a bag from a, a Swedish company called Gaston Luger and they said, look, would you, li would you like this bag? Just feature it on one of your videos. For one, we thought it would be a, a bit of a laugh. And uh, so we tried doing this, this video. I think if you want to put your phone, a purse, a passport, you can put it in here and it will be close to your back so nobody can steal anything from it. And it turned out okay, but went down like a lead balloon really with uh, a lot of viewers saying that we were exploiting our kids. We shouldn't be influencers because they hated that word anyway. So we quickly came to learn that that wasn't really our niche. We weren't very good at it and people hated it anyway, so we stopped doing that. When we were first leaving, on, on our big sail, our sort of maiden voyage as it were, we kind of had this plan that we'd film it and everybody would be happy smiling faces and we'd just head off towards the horizon it would be a lovely sort of uh, backdrop to the end of our first blog. Um, but reality decided to intervene a bit and um, we didn't realise that our holding tanks were so small and we woke up in the morning of departure with uh, effluent spraying all over the decks and all of our neighbour's boat and we shot out of Preveza tried to get into as deep water as we could so we could empty the tanks um, so it wasn't the most auspicious of starts to our our travel blogs and that was one of the blogs that didn't happen um, you do the traveling and you're living these stories and making these stories as you go along but then often those stories are forgotten we've been around the crater and then we came down a very steep bit and we had to walk through the sulfur which was oozing out of the ground I thought we'd get round it but um, the path took us through it so we had to kind of hold our breath and then run for it because it, it's really horrible it kind of gets on your lungs the wind has actually switched around to the northwest and now we've got this horrible beat across the cyclades so we're pinching rather a lot and obviously healing a lot and uh, getting knocked around a bit we have really got the right shoes for it all but um just to get the view, you know. <laughs> There's lots of archaeologists in there and they're still studying the place. Right there is the biggest column in the world. The biggest column in the whole entire world. Literally nobody around. 20 or 30 miles in that direction, there's a Syrian border, so I guess that scares a lot of the Westerners off. It was all built by hunter gatherers, I mean, there's a lot of sophisticated building techniques that have gone into this before Neolithic man even started farming. Double the age of Stonehenge. None of it really makes any sense, um, and that's what makes it so intriguing, I think. It's died on the boat. Go go yeah. Should we find it? The goats? Yeah. Oh, God, it stinks. Yeah. Do you feel sick? Yeah. 
<laughs> and as he pulled it out, it was like that big. I mean, when I used to travel before, I would always write a diary, and that's and those are stories I remember, and those are stories I tell the kids, you know, around the fire or whatever. And um, and now, you know, we make the videos, and that's that's what it is now. It's it's multimedia. The other high points really is I never realised how connected we would become with people all over the world. You know, we've actually made some really good friends um, from doing these videos, purely from doing the videos. If we hadn't shared our story, we would never have met them and, and heard their story. And, and I've, that really gives me a real kick, actually. And also, they've now become friends that, you know, we hope to meet up again and again and again. And, and that is really precious, I think, you know. Um, another highlight for me is, um, yeah, apart from the community that you meet, but it's actually meeting other YouTubers as well and sometimes you can get to hang out with them. Like we did recently, um, I mean, Maddie and Herbie, who are on Rigging Doctor, they spent a, a few days with us, which we really enjoyed. And the, the thing that makes it really fun is because when we go out and do anything, we're all filming and we completely understand what we're trying to do. And, um, and you kind of immediately have something in common other than just sailing as well and exploring. And you also find out about other equipment and, you know, and the things that you can do things with. So when we met um, Sophie and Ryan from Sophie and Ryan saying, yeah, they had some good camera equipment and um, it was just interesting to see what they have and how they use it. And it's quite inspiring, really. Normally we get about two or 3,000 hits per blog, some higher, some lower. Um, but we did have one particular one that took us completely by surprise um, that went semi-viral. And today I think it's got about half a million views. We were on a ferry at the time, we, we weren't actually sailing and uh, we saw a woman in the middle of the ocean and we kind of alerted the captain uh, who basically turned the whole ferry around and uh, attempted this rescue mission. There's a man in the water. So our ferry's turned round to go and um, we'll see if he's all right. Pointing everyone. There's nothing we could do because it wasn't our boat. We were no. just passengers on the ferry. It's, it's one thing to actually reach them. It's mm. another thing get them out of the water. And it kind of taught us a few lessons actually. I mean, we had to review mm. our sort of safety procedures after mm. we saw that. Um, another thing that took us by surprise was uh, YouTube's strange change in policies about um, showing kids. And one day we woke up to having all of our comments deleted, not just off one video, but every video completely gone and all of our comments disabled. They haven't communicated with us, they didn't give us any warning. It's not our fault, it's not of our doing. We love to hear from everybody. The only thing we can suggest is if you've got any comments or you want to communicate with us, that you do it through our Patreon channel or Facebook or Instagram. It made us realize what a volatile platform YouTube is. And um, even though we're not producing anything controversial, you can still fall foul of their kind of policies which are constantly changing. Um, we had some videos which were unlisted, completely deleted, and the warning is against our channel for things that were so arbitrary you just you wouldn't believe. A lot of the times it isn't even judged by a real person, it's judged by their AI, which is um, not infallible. Um, another kind of uh, delightful spin-off from uh, doing the videos was the outtakes. Um, we weren't quite sure what to do about these mistakes that kept happening, and you and just kept doing the most inappropriate things and, and he's become the outtake king really. Lots of things we don't even catch actually, which is a shame because it would be nice to remember them, you know, even ourselves, because he makes us laugh. I hate but, that. Sorry, just that's it. all again. Forget it. Delete all that. Giros. Yeah. Giros. Giros. <laughs> it's just such a stupid name. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so we found a really good place that sells Giros. <laughs> <laughs> so we found a place that sells really good G-Ross that the kids really like. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm trying to get the bottom of the page. Can you just tell me what it is again? G-Ross. I'm not doing on purpose, Woody. G-Ross. G-Ross. The kids' favourite Greek food. <laughs> This is so stupid. Thank you. <laughs>
Um, it's exciting getting to nearly 10,000 subscribers because it means that obviously 10,000 people think our videos are okay. Thank you for being a subscriber and um, if you're not then please subscribe <laughs> um, and just watching our videos and sharing them and enjoying them. Not much travel in this video it was just to say thanks to the subscribers and particularly thanks to our patrons and keep watching out the next uh, few months as we finish off our travels around the Med. Uh, lots more maintenance videos coming out soon and and that's it. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and see you next time. Bye. You and me, we're family, no matter how far away we've grown to be. We travel on to unknown destinies, but you and me will still be family. Sing home, hey along for the ride, home, hey I'll stay by your side. Always be alright by me. You're alright. We have to go for a fight to get it. Walk, sing, hold. Hey, long for the ride.